UFOs in Lake Baikal of Russia and strange creatures in its deep waters, and Night of Terror in the Bermuda Triangle. As in the oceans, UFO activity has been observed in deep lakes as well. Anywhere from the United States to China to Russia, usually saucer-shaped or cylindrical, the light they emit is very similar to that of a flash or like the brightness emitted by an electric shock. UFO in Lake Baikal, Siberia, chasing unknown submarines, Barclay talks about a tragic incident that happened in the summer of 1982. During a diving exercise in Lake Baikal in Siberia, the lake is the world's largest freshwater lake. Several divers have seen strange creatures in the depth, deep waters of the lake. Baikal is the deepest and oldest lake in the world. And Baikal is a lake located in southern Siberia between Yakutsk Oblast in the northwest and Bur Yaita in the southeast near the city of Irkutsk. It's known as the Blue Eye of Siberia. On July 29, 2008, Russian researchers dived with a deep sea vessel to the bottom of the lake, setting a, a freshwater diving record. It was revealed that the lake is 1,680 meters deep, much deeper than previously thought. The mission to explore the world's largest lake was suspended a day later, July 30th, uh, 2008, after one of the two submarines collided with a floating platform. What will they tell, what will they, uh, tell the world? Descriptions, one meter tall, wearing a tight silver suit with diving gear. They were surprised to discover that there are hominids who wore scuba gear and had scuba gear. However, they had strange spherical helmets and tried to attack to tackle the identified divers swimming in the restricted military zone. The team of Russian divers swam towards the helmeted beings. Unfortunately, it ended in disaster. The Russians failed to catch some of these humanoids. Four Russians were injured in their attempt and three later died. Despite the massive search by the military, the strange beings were nowhere to be seen. Captain Azaza says that there are indications that sailors in the Pacific in remote waters have seen cylindrical shaped objects, including flying saucers, UFOs, smaller UFOs that sank into the water, and they keep coming out and going away. Now, this exhibition is similar to many of the exhibitions that have come from around the world over the past 60 years. Cylinders act as motherships atmospheric version of a naval aircraft carrier. They usually send out small discoidal or spherical vessels that are used as a base of their activities and no one knows what their mission is. Senior commander Vladimir Zaza, now retired, believes that the cylinders are connected to underwater bases in the depths of the great oceans at specific points around the world. In other words, he's claiming that extraterrestrials have their ba their underwater bases under uh, under the uh, ocean the bodies of water. Researcher Ivan T. Sanderson explored this idea at length, and had an exhaustive list of uh, UFO incidents highlighted in his classic book Invisible. Many of the cases investigated by Sanderson stem from leaks in the Russian military, with the declassification of many documents from the Soviet Navy Navy's meetings with uh, uh, UFOs, he was proven right. And note, do you remember the Russian Kirk's nuclear submarine? In August 2000, the Russian Oscar II class submarine Kirk's sank off the Barrett Sea during an exercise. The sinking of the Kursk submarine, according to official Russian government sources, was caused by an explosion caused by a leak of hydrogen peroxide fuel from a faulty torpedo carrier by the submarine. It probably did not happen that way, but what would they say to the world? Senior Commander Vladimir Azaza, now retired, believes that the cylinders were, are connected to underwater bases in the depths of the great oceans in specific places around the world. Night of Terror in the Bermuda Triangle. The Soviet Navy was involved with an encounter in the infamous Bermuda Triangle in the Caribbean, terrifying encounter. Admiral Yuri Beketov, 
former commander of one of the best nuclear submarines of the Soviet Union, conducts war maneuvers in the Bermuda Triangle area. In the face of supernatural phenomena, navigation systems malfunction there. Strange interference and unnatural, the sonar detected mass surveillance submarines moving at incredible speeds below the vessel. Some were on collision course and swerved at the last minute. Although many of the crew were frightened, they continued to perform their duties, but no one knew what could be done. And according to confirmed sonar readings, some of the alien spaceships were traveling at 650 miles an hour underwater. Beketov says that these craft operate on a physical on physical principles unknown to humans. He points out that 650 miles an hour in the atmosphere is not too difficult to achieve, but underwater with the power and density of water, it's almost impossible and there is no known technology that can even reach half that speed. The Vice Admiral concludes that beings have created these objects which far exceed human development it may even be implied that there are other ancient civilizations in the deep ocean. The North Atlantic capital, Captain Vladimir Prokodko, another notable discovery, two huge pyramids at the bottom of the sea in the Bermuda Triangle, found by, found by chance in 1991. Oceanographer Dr. Kvedvar Mendlik reports that the pyramids are larger than those in Egypt and appear to be made of glass. Mendelik believes that the structures could have been made even millions of years ago. It's clear that we are faced with a phenomenon. When will they talk officially about this? Snowden had talked about this too, but they, uh, they just uh, sort of uh, wiped that off. Uh, this is uh, translated from a Greek article for you. Please leave your comments about this. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.